Blender, what up, family? How you doing? How you doing today? All right, we finna make some uh, some food. I can you guys believe it? We're actually doing a cooking video. Can you guys honestly like believe it? Yeah, like, well, they know we gotta eat. I know, but we're actually doing a cooking video. Shout out to Charles for editing the video. Yeah. Okay. But anyway. We got a, went to my mom's house one day. She was talking to us and stuff. What's on your shirt? Thrive Life. Oh, thrive man. Life. We're going to use some of it. Yeah, Thrive Life. Anyway, it's my mom's house, and uh, she had telling us about some easy stuff we could do to make. I can, I can take to work. Some simple. You can freeze it's, them. It's delicious. It's kind of healthy for you. I mean, it, it's, it's all good. Not that hard to make, pretty easy. Show you what we got. Okay, go for it. We got some muffin pans right there. We got some pan butter flavor spray. We got some hash browns, some eggs, some sausage, some bacon, some cheese, <laughs> cheese. and some. Well, and this one's gonna be for mine. We're making his and hers. So this. Green pepper is from Charles's mom's garden. Mom's garden, some peppers. Because I wanted, fr I am going to use some Thrive Life, just some onions. I'm going for the mushrooms. Ooh, fungus. And I'm gonna go for some red peppers as well. So Thrive Life, eat smart, healthy. Check out the link below. Be a part of our team. We're still doing Thrive Life. We just haven't been. I'm just going for the sausage and bacon. We haven't just done our videos. Just on sausage it. and bacon and mash. All right, so I want to fry my bacon and my sausage. I got a uh, now the hash brown it because it comes frozen. You want to thaw it out or you know put it in the microwave, thaw it out a little bit. But you want to, you don't want it frozen when you put it in the uh, muffin pans. But I'm gonna show you all that too. I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna show you everything we do. I'm gonna show you everything we do. And usually it's like one egg per little container. Depending on how much stuff you put in your eggs. Which I'm gonna put um, quite a bit. So I'm gonna use four, I wanna start out with four eggs. If I have to go to five, then okay. But I don't, I'm I'm filling mine with more vegetables than what Charles I'm says. only using sauces and bacon. So with that being said. Well, what? yeah, go, keep going. I gotta get my bacon crispy and my sausage fried up and the hash browns a little thawed up. Stick okay, them in the where are you stick from? Stick them in the mar microwave. Stick them in the microwave for about their uh Do you do you have costume on? Yeah. Oh. Microwave for about their 30 seconds or so like that there. And what I'm gonna do is because this is freeze-dried foods clean and healthy freeze-dried foods I'm already gonna put my eggs together I'm gonna mix this stuff in there so then these soften in the eggs while he's doing his meats yeah so, so let me get my pan together and, uh, I'm, and let me get I'm my gonna show you some, some bacon and sausage getting fried up <laughs> so <laughs> Charles is can you guys see what I'm doing? He's like, we go well, show what yeah. you're doing. Show you're a part of it. So I just went with five eggs. I actually added pepper, garlic powder, and some smoked paprika. I don't want to use salt because the meat is going to. Actually, I don't even want. Oh, I don't know. I haven't decided on the meat yet. But you can do ham. Anything you want. Yeah, actually. It's Anything like you want, like an omelet, yeah, and a muffin. Mm -hmm. It's an omelet and a muffin. Green peppers. I'm not even going to, I'm just going to pour. Now, again, we've had these for a while. It's great shelf life, you guys. Thrive life. Make sure to check out. The link in our description. I'm still thrive life. A little bit of onions. I don't want too many, I just want enough. Okay. 
and mushrooms. Oh, I haven't even opened these yet. These could stay on up to 25 years shelf life. And I'm just going to let that sit in there. If you wanted to, you could add a little bit of milk um, to make it just a little lighter eggs, don't you think? Yeah, if you want that, to. But I'm going for this right here. And just let it sit in there while Charles finishes his. And me, I'm just, you know, frying up some bacon right here like that, yeah. Buy him some bacon, give me some crispy bacon. Crumble the bacon up. After I get my bacon done, I was gonna make me some sausage. Some some of that, what kind of sausage I got over there? Tennessee pie sausage. Yep. Tennessee pie mild sausage. But you can use any type of meat you want, like I said. Ham, you can ham, hamburger, hamburger Italian sausage, right. whatever kind of meat you like any in it, in your omelet, you want, any vegetable, any anything. Cheese. So I'm gonna get my um I'm gonna get my bacon, my sausage fried up, and we'll get back with y'all for the next step. Yeah. Alright there family. I got my sausage and my bacon done right there. Miss Jen ready. has hers ready. I just wanna taste and, that. Huh? Yeah. Mmm. So now what we do, she has the, the, the butter spray. We gonna we gotta spray the spray. pans. We gotta oh. spray the pans. Just lightly, just lightly spray the pans. Light, there you go, lightly spray the pans. Lightly, light, lightly, lightly now, lightly now. And you got the hash browns right there. Now, you don't have to use the hash browns. We put them in the bottom, just a little bit in the bottom. Just it's just more filling. Yeah, it's just something else you can do. You can add to it. You don't have to add hash browns. Yeah, if you guys are on that, any kind of like restriction of carbs, yeah, you don't have to add it. We, at just, all. we just add a few hash browns in the bottom. You cook them in the oven um, five to seven minutes, depending on your desired taste. But once again, once you put the egg on top, they're going to cook a little longer. But if you want them crispier, leave them in there longer. See, we do it for about five minutes. So she put those in there. You gotta show you what we got right here. So at least we got the hash browns in the pans right there like that. And we're gonna put them in the oven. Now the oven is set for 350. And she throws them in the oven. Throw them? Yeah, throw just them. throw them. Throw them in the Alright, 350 for five minutes. And like I said, if you want them in there, you want them crispier, or you're gonna cook a little longer. Then you can. Seven, ten minutes, however you want. But once again, once you put the egg on top and put them back in, they're gonna cook a little more. So like I said, I got my egg ready. She got Miss Jen got hers ready right there. I got mine ready. Now I'm gonna throw a little bit of sausage right here. Just just dump some sausage in there. Just dump some sausage in just like that there. Some sausage and some bacon pieces that I made. Bacon. And whip her up. What kind of spices did you use? I just use salt and pepper. Oh, just yes, I just, yeah, I'm just going simple. I'm just going simple. A little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Just a little salt and pepper through my sausage and my bacon in there. And I'm good. Like I said, we're going to wait for the, uh, wait for the hash browns to get done in about four minutes. And then show you the next step. Show what we got going on. Alright, fam, I left the hash browns in for about six minutes. Now it's time to add our eggs. I also took put all the bacon. I also put a little cheese in mine. I'm putting I'm sprinkling cheese on top of mine. I'll just add a little bit. See I had to add just a little cheese in mine, y'all know I'm cutting. Yeah, cutting the cheese. Good. She gonna add cheese. Oh, <laughs> and she's on top of hers. Oh, good cheese. She's stirring hers up right there like that. And then you're gonna just add it, add it in there. But let's see what that's hold on, hold on. Let me go around and, now she's gonna add hers to the to the she's now what's the top? There you go, there you go. 
Yep, just like that. There, there you go. Yep. Yep, there you go. Yep, there you go. Up, there you go. And up, there you go. Yeah, so you don't wanna you don't wanna come all the way to the top because they're gonna like they're gonna turn like muffin up. Muffin up. <laughs> <laughs> I made a fun of them. They're gonna like they're gonna like muffin up so you don't come all the way to the top they're gonna they're gonna come out turns like muffins. Oh now she adding cheese. Just a now she adding a little bit oh. of cheese. I know I probably could have waited and maybe until the end. And towards the end. But it's okay. I don't really mind my cheese getting a little dark. And... All right, now I'm gonna get mine done. You can watch me add just a little bit like that. All right. I got mine done like that there. Now we got both of them done. Her look more pretty because it got, because it got a, uh, because it got color to it. We go. I'm, we go, a, go, I'm go. excited. Mine's beautiful. Thumbnail. See again. And I, I used five eggs. I did add just a little bit of milk. You just used six eggs, and that was it, right? No, I actually used five. That's why it's a little less. Oh. I should have used six. You said one for each. Okay. I know. That's why I should use six. Cause like that one right there, a little, little low, mm -hmm. little, little low. But that's more sausage in it. No, I'm good. But now you put them in the oven for oh. about half an hour. You know, make sure the egg rises up. You can also use a toothpick to check it to make sure they're done all the way. We'll get these done. Thrive Life. Show you how to finish project. Show you how to finish project when it's all done, ready to eat. And you can also make you some uh, some toast with it. Have some toast. Have some waffles. Some French toast. I mean, you can do whatever with this. It's like it's like yeah, like like you know, omelet, but in the omelet within the muffin. Your omelet within the muffin. Yeah. Now on to the next to the finished product. All right. Yum. We just pulled them out the oven. We just pulled up. Just pulled them out the oven. Show what we got. They look yumbo. There they is. They all rise up like some little oh. muffins right there. All rise up like some muffins. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So we're gonna I'm get so we're gonna excited. get them taken out. We'll get them taken out. And we're gonna have a little taste test. Taste test. Taste test. What See is... what we got going on that channel. Are you gonna use anything with yours or you're just gonna eat it like it is? No, I'm gonna eat it, but like I told them, you can you can you can make toast with it. Like an omelet, you can make toast, you can make some some waffles, some French toes. I mean, you can do whatever you want to do with it. Cause it's just, it's, just, it's egg. It's your omelet and a muffin. Like I was saying, my mom, my mom told me this, I, I know what it was. I was trying to find something to take to work, something different to take to work. Something that's quick, easy. Some of these egg muffins. Like I said, you can freeze them. You can take them, you can put them in your lunch bag. You can eat them cold. You can warm them up. I mean, however you want to eat them. They, they just, it's just all the stuff you can do with it. You add some salsa to it. I mean, you just, that's all you can do. You gonna get that taste test over for them? So here's mine. That's, uh, hold on, let, it, let it get, that's her with, with, with the peppers and stuff in there. What you got? Oh. What you got? Oh, look at that. Let's go with all of them. What is, what is, what is it? What, what you got? What's, what do you mean, what do I have? How is, how, how is it? What you got? You got the, the peppers. You got peppers and stuff in that one. And I have peppers and mushrooms. Mushroom. Thrive Live Foods. Check the description. It's hot. And I put... Smoked paprika. <laughs> yes. I say, Mom, hook me up on this one, man. I had. I say my grace first. I'm sorry. It's something I already said, man. Mom, hook it up. 
something she's talking about. And I love it, man. This is good. I see it's quick, it's easy. So I mean, you can eat cold, heat up, on the go, sitting down. Of course, I got, I just got, you know, the sauce with your bacon on mine. Try it. Really good. Yeah, it is really good. Yes. I love it. Try it. I think you'll love it too. I mean, it's, it's just something different than scrambling eggs or making a make it a uh, omelet. Make it into a muffin. Make it into a muffin. It's just, it's just, it's just good stuff. And that's it, right? Not yet. How do you do that? Good for you. Pack of protein. Just don't cut me. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is, my fam. Egg muffins, man. Something easy. Next week, we're going to be... Yeah, back at the hospital. Get her done. Again. Let's get it all done. Yeah. But that was the egg muffin muff of the night dinner. Don't forget to subscribe. I still got five more left. Turn notifications on. Like. Comment. And share. With some people. Everyone. <laughs> we love y'all, man. I hope y'all having a blessed night. And we'll see y'all next video. Spare fingers, spirit. Food is amazing. Think about it. Traditions, memories, so much happiness. But food can also bring a lot of stress. Thrive Life wants to take away the stress by delivering simple, clean food right to your door. How would that help, you ask? Well, we've done some research. Approximately 1 in 42 trillion people actually like to wash, peel, and chop fruits and veggies. And approximately 1 in 56 bajillion people enjoy throwing out rotten produce. Ew. Our research found that a lot of the stress comes from planning meals. Although 43% of the population claims to pre-plan their meals, we found that less than 1% actually do. So, we had an idea. Let's help people not stress out about food. Enter Thrive Life. Ingredients that are pre-washed, pre-cut, and freeze-dried to lock in all those nutrients and delicious flavors, and they won't spoil in days or even weeks after buying them. Ingredients that aren't loaded with additives, preservatives, or GMOs. And for those nights that you just don't have anything planned or frankly don't like the plans you did have, there's Simple Plate. It's a meal kit that's better than any meal kit you've experienced, according to our research. It's planned, prepped, and pre-portioned deliciousness. And it doesn't have to be made tonight. It's ready when you are. How do we do all that? It's basically magic. We start with the best produce picked at the peak of perfection. Then we freeze dry it in the most state-of-the-art facility. In the galaxy. We lock in the taste and nutrients so our produce is as fresh as the farmer's market, which makes it perfect for snacking, by the way. Want to try it out? Simply set up a delivery service account and start shopping. Schedule at least three deliveries in the next 90 days, and you'll become a preferred customer for free. You get all kinds of perks, like free shipping. So why would you want simple, clean food delivered to your door? I think the research says it all. Enjoy simple, clean food that's ready when you are. And make sure the only thing getting spoiled here is you. Try Thrive Life tonight.